Ever wanted to enhance the storytelling, immersion, and world building of your game? Ever wanted some tips on how to use a blog or other campaign tools to enhance and deepen roleplay? Then stay tuned for today's episode. Hello and welcome to RPG PhD. I'm Dr. Ben and today we will discuss the benefits of blogging or using other campaign tools to enhance your tabletop RPGs. In our age of digital connectivity, we have powerful tools at our disposal to enhance our gaming experiences. One such tool is a blog or other campaign organization software. Check out the description below for links to some of those. I'm defining blog in this context as tools, software, or website that allow you to share information and collaborate with your players or a larger community. Whether you're a game master or a player, utilizing a blog can take your adventures to new heights. In this video, we'll explore ways in which using a blog can enrich and elevate your tabletop role-playing games. Collaborative storytelling. RPGs are all about creative and immersive, engaging narratives, and a blog can serve as a perfect platform for collaborative storytelling among your gaming group. With a blog, you can invite your players to contribute to the ongoing story by writing their own posts or chapters from their character's perspective. This collaborative approach allows each player to delve deeper into their character's motivations, inner thoughts, and personal experiences. It adds layers of depth and richness to the overall narrative. Imagine the excitement of reading a blog post from another player detailing their character's heroic deeds or uncovering a secret that impacts the entire party. By sharing their stories on the blog, players can surprise and inspire one another, creating a tapestry of interconnected narratives that weave together to form a captivating adventure. Furthermore, the blog can serve as a repository of collective storytelling, where players can collectively contribute to world building, introduce new plot threads, or develop intriguing side quests. This collaborative storytelling approach allows everyone to have a hand in shaping the game world and creates a sense of ownership and investment among the players. By embracing collaborative storytelling on a blog, you unlock the full creative potential of your gaming group. It encourages players to think critically, engage with the narrative on a deeper level, and actively contribute to the collective storytelling experience. Centralized game information. One way a blog can enhance your game is by providing a centralized hub for all of your game-related information. No more searching through piles of papers or lost files. With a blog, you can organize and access crucial details about your campaign, characters, and world with ease. You can create separate sections or categories for character profiles, campaign notes, world lore, rules references, homebrew, and campaign restrictions like which classes or spells that you allow in your game. This centralization ensures that you and your players can easily access and update crucial details, making it easier to stay organized and keep track of important information during your gaming sessions. I've used this often in my games to introduce new subsystems or to make a formal ruling on a particular rules question that might have come up in the game where I ruled in the moment to keep the game moving, but have now settled on a more permanent solution. Character Backstories Character backstories can be an essential component of any tabletop RPG as they provide depth, motivation, and a sense of history to your characters. A blog can serve as the perfect platform to delve into and share these backstories with your fellow players. Encourage your players to write engaging backstories for their characters on the blog. This allows them to explore their characters' past, including their upbringing, experiences, and defining moments. By sharing these backstories, players can gain a deeper understanding of each other's characters, fostering stronger connections within the gaming group. Not only does writing character backstories on a blog help in character development, but it also provides a treasure trove of plot hooks and story ideas for the game master. The GM can draw inspiration from the character backstories to weave them into the overarching narrative, creating personalized story arcs and quests tailored to each character's history and goals. Additionally, a blog can serve as a repository of character development over time. As the campaign progresses, players can update their character's backstory posts to reflect the growth, changes, and new experiences their characters undergo. This creates a dynamic and evolving narrative that mirrors the character's journey. Session Recaps and Storytelling after each gaming session, writing detailed recaps on your blog not only serves as a chronicle of your campaign, but also allows players to revisit past adventures. These recaps can be crafted as engaging narratives, adding depth and flavor to the ongoing story of your game. These recaps serve multiple purposes. First, they act as a chronicle of your campaign, allowing you to look back on previous adventures and remember important plot points. Secondly, they serve as a storytelling medium, enabling you to add depth and flavor to the ongoing narrative. You can bring the characters' interactions, memorable moments, and key decisions to life, providing an engaging reading experience for both players and other readers. I've had players who, during the game write down memorable, funny, or interesting character and player quotes that are often then posted on the blog. 
They may also write a brief summary of what happened during the game. And this is something that my groups have done for years. And, and what's really interesting to me is how much past campaigns are almost completely forgotten unless some of these details are chronicled. Character journals and development. Encourage your players to maintain character journals on the blog. This gives them a space to explore their character's thoughts, reflections, and personal growth throughout the campaign. It deepens the emotional connection between players and their in-game personas, creating memorable character development arcs. This allows the players an opportunity to share their thoughts and react on what has occurred in the game, especially if a major character or story event has occurred. Character journals also provide a wonderful opportunity for character development and inter-party interactions. Journaling can help your players roleplay more authentically at the table because they have had an opportunity to process their character's thoughts and feelings between games. I found that some players get more into this side of storytelling and character exploration than the actual game itself. Having an opportunity for a character to reflect on their thoughts and feelings about in-game events and relationships can be a powerful way of deepening a character, adding to immersion, and creating more memorable moments. Writing from NPCs' perspectives. NPCs play a crucial role in any game world, and giving them a voice through blog posts can add depth and immersion to your game. Imagine creating blog entries written by important NPCs, sharing their thoughts, experiences, and interactions with the player characters. These entries can offer unique insights, hints, or clues about the game world, quests, or upcoming events. By writing from the NPCs' perspectives, you provide players with a deeper understanding of their motivations and create more dynamic interactions between the characters. Additionally, writing from NPCs' perspectives can serve as a valuable tool for the Game Master. It allows you to flesh out the personalities, backstories, and relationships of the NPCs. It's an opportunity to showcase their unique voices and make them feel more alive in the game world. I have found this to be a great storytelling tool that gives insight into the inner lives of major NPCs and can be great for NPCs who are love interests or who are important to particular player characters. You can check out my video on adding love interests uh, more here. The GM can also utilize the blog to provide additional information, clues, or foreshadowing to guide the players toward the next plot point. Sharing hints or teasers through blog posts creates anticipation and intrigue, keeping the players engaged and invested in uncovering the mysteries of the campaign. Writing from the villain's perspective. Give your villains a voice by creating blog posts or articles from their point of view. This adds depth to their motivation, explores their schemes, and allows your players to gain insight into their adversaries. It creates a unique storytelling experience as players can delve into the mind of the antagonist and understand their actions on a deeper level. This can be used to foreshadow future in-game events or delve into the past of a villain to show motivation or tell a deeper story. It can show off-screen conversations and give the players a deeper understanding of what is happening even if their characters are unaware. As a GM, this is one of my favorite uses for blogging, having those throne room scenes where the villain discusses their plans with an underling or is out in the world taking some action that will later involve the PCs. It can be a great way of building interesting antagonists and providing insight to their motivations. World Building Supplements Expand your game world by creating supplementary content on the blog. You can write detailed articles about various aspects of the setting, such as history, cultures, factions, and magical systems. This additional lore provides players with a deeper understanding of the world and inspires their role-playing choices. By providing additional lore and context, you enrich the player's understanding of that world and offer them more opportunities for role-playing and decision-making within the game. Blogs also give the opportunity to add tons of character images, maps, and other visual aids that can bring a campaign to life. Player resources and handouts. Keep the flow of your game smooth and immersive by uploading resources and handouts to the blog. Maps, item descriptions, and important NPC profiles can be easily accessed by players during the game, allowing them to review details and stay engaged in the adventure. A blog is an excellent platform for sharing player resources and handouts. By making these resources easily accessible, players can refer to them during the game, saving time and keeping the flow of the game smooth. Additionally, having these resources readily available outside of the gaming session allows the players to review and study the details, fostering deeper engagement with the game world. Interactive player forums. Set up a dedicated forum section on your blog for players to engage in out-of-character discussions. This creates a sense of community and encourages players to share ideas, ask questions, and collaborate on strategies. It fosters a stronger bond among the gaming group, both during and between sessions. It also provides a platform for players to share their experiences and to learn from one another. And there you have it, a few of the ways that using a blog can enhance your tabletop role-playing games. From organizing game information to fostering collaboration, storytelling, and building a vibrant community, the possibilities are really awesome. 
Please share your thoughts or experiences about blogs or other software and how you use them in your games. I hope you've enjoyed this video on using a blog to enhance your tabletop RPG. If so, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. It's much appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time.